point out, though, that he... Huh? It's an, a £38,000 journey of a lifetime tonight. They raised the money in only 11 months, and it'll be spent attending a 10-day conference in Florida, meeting disabled people from all over the world. Irene Malice joined them as they made their final preparations. The trip was first suggested last November, when the users of the centre were looking for a way to celebrate the 10th anniversary of its opening. They also wanted to mark the International Year of the Disabled in some special way, and so they decided to down tools and head for Orlando in Florida to attend the International Conference for the Disabled. Since then, they've raised 38 of the £39,000 needed to finance the trip through local sponsorship and their own efforts. The appeal was started by a team of professional fundraisers who raised £10 and then said it was an impossible task. So what kind of response did the amateurs meet with when they took over the purse strings? Absolutely fantastic. We've had so many people have given us an awful lot. Um, we're absolutely thrilled and we're just about there. £38,000 an awful lot of money. Was it easy to get? No, it wasn't. It was hard work, a lot of effort. Um, we put a lot of time into it, but there's a tremendous team and there's a tremendous spirit of community, um, and that's the way we've raised it. You haven't quite raised the complete sum, though, have you? Slightly short, um, but we're hoping that over the next few weeks when we come back that we'll make up the deficit. And that means finding more jumble to sell, dolls to name and toys to raffle. But, as they've shown during the past 11 months, the staff and members are not afraid of hard work. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the days till late at night. It was very, very hard work and I was in the hospital during the time we were doing it all and I couldn't help it anyway. But I'm sure we'll get our last thousand pound and that'll make our holiday complete. But the more immediate problem is how to transport such a large group of disabled people nearly 4,000 miles to the United States. They'll travel by coach to Gatwick, where they'll be transferred on to a scheduled flight to Boston and then on to Florida, where they'll stay at an hotel which caters especially for disabled visitors. The whole journey should take 24 hours and the members will have a day to look round before conference business begins. But even then, it won't be all hard work. Minnie Wallace is all set for a good time. Everything's packed, even my drawers and all. <laughs> and all my bikini and everything, I've got everything packed. I'm looking that forward to this holiday. It's the best thing that ever happened. In a little over...